Well, the Ghana Boundary Commission and its counterparts in Burkina Faso have started the process to reaffirm the boundaries of the two countries by restoring the deteriorating boundary pillars to their former state. Their concerns, artisanal gold mining activities and other human activities have affected the boundary pillars which were fixed more than 30 years ago. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the second meeting of the Boundary Commission of Ghana and Burkina Faso, the National Coordinator of the Ghana Boundary Commission, Major General Emmanuel Kutia, said the two countries will also work to deal with challenges along the boundary. Maxwell Agbagwa has more in this report. The first meeting between the two countries was in July 2021 at Paga. The main objective of this latest meeting is to begin the process of reaffirmation of the boundary of the two countries and also initiate solution to challenges along the boundary. Speaking at the opening ceremony, National Coordinator of the Ghana Boundary Commission, Major General Yumano Kotia, said, aside from the discussions on the reaffirmation of the boundary of the two countries, cross-border activities will also feature. He says work will start as soon as possible to prevent the land boundaries of the two countries from becoming a source of dispute. We would urge that we set up a joint boundary reaffirmation committee, which has already been mentioned earlier on. We would jointly seek funding for the construction of new boundary pillars, including intermediate boundary pillars and border post pillars and a moment at certain locations that we would agree around the border cross. We will use this opportunity to urge the GIZ, GIZ representatives are here, to be able to seek for funding for us to start this project this year. And we want to advise that it is important for us to move into action as soon as possible so that our land boundary will not become areas of dispute among local communities. Permanent Secretary for the Boundary Commission for Burkina Faso said she is excited about the second meeting of the two countries. Ghana's ambassador to Burkina Faso, His Excellency Adangbila Boniface Gambila says Ghana has a long-standing relationship with Burkina Faso and is happy to see the second meeting of the two boundary commissions in Ouagadougou. It was and it is today. Not a coincidence that Ghana established its relationship with Burkina Faso as far back as 1960 when the latter gained its independence from colonial. GIZ provided funding for the program. ECOWAS component manager GIZ African Union Border Program, Dr. Sanu Bakari says reaffirmation of boundaries of countries is a good way to prevent conflicts. GIZ, GIZ is supporting this program. It is bringing technical and financial support for the bilateral, for the bilateral commission okay. that is going to be uh, established between the two countries so that they can move to the reaffirmation of their boundaries. It is very important. Like I said, this program was established since 2007, 2007 as a structural means to prevent conflict across African continent. African okay. continent. You know, since the Berlin Conference, the almost 80,000 of African borders are not well defined. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the boundaries are not well defined create a lot of problems. You know, when you don't know the border, you cannot patrol the borders. Yeah. So that's why we are really supporting this, uh, this program so that we can uh, uh, prevent conflict and also support the, the two governments to come up with clean the, 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 the limitation of their borderlands. Civil society organizations were also represented at the meeting. Paul Abraham Pamensam, programs manager at CDD Ghana, lauded the effort of the boundary commissions of the two countries. Two years as a society organization was included in the land boundaries technical committee. Uh, civil society organization, as you know, we support uh, state institutions in the enforcement of their duties. We come in with the uh, uh, perception surveys, we come in with uh, a point that uh, probably may not be known to state institutions. Yes, so watching Joe News Prime with me, Faustina Sava. We're taking a quick breather, we'll be back with more.